Spring is right around the corner, and that means so is wedding season. But with so many forced to cancel their big celebrations last year, what will wedding season look like this year? Let's bring in wedding planner Zheng Li of FET New York with more on that. Zheng, good morning. Thanks for being here. You know, as of today, weddings and catered events with up to 150 guests can resume in New York. We're seeing restrictions relax like that across the country. But we've also seen them relax and then tighten again in the past. People have had to change their plans. So what are some of the ways you've had to change how you plan events during this pandemic? Well, so we are obviously being super careful, but I'm doing an event in um, in a month from now, and pretty much all the guests that are coming to that have been vaccinated. So I think that um, overall, the country is doing fantastic. You know, people do need to be careful, but um, events are, you know, pe people haven't seen their parents and grandparents in a year, over a year. So they're really looking forward to this, obviously being very cautious, but very optimistic as well. Are you seeing more people lean, for example, toward outdoor events? A hundred percent. I mean, I think people, you know, the people that I'm seeing, my clients at least, they're not comfortable being indoors, even if they're all vaccinated. So even having, if we are indoors, having all the windows, having airflow is still very, very important. Are, are there any other adjustments that you think will actually stick post-pandemic? I mean, I think because of the pandemic, we as a society have learned so much. And I think that um, while the guests, even the ones who are vaccinated, we're doing a lot of live testing on site with, you know, and uh, medical concierges. But as a staff member, wait staff, servers, all the vendors, photographers, we're still masked because I think there was an optics about it. Even if we're vaccinated, guests feel comfortable where together they're okay, but with an outsider whom they may not know. There, there needs to be another layer of protection, if you will. And what about the size of these events? Are people itching to get back to throwing these larger parties, or do you find that people are more inclined now to have a smaller affair? I think that many of our clients have did smaller events, smaller wedding ceremonies, and now they are really, I mean, human beings are social creatures. We want to be together. We want to hug and hold hands and dance and be together. But with that, obviously, um, we want to be careful. So we're not doing sure plates on the dinner tables and such. But we are, there There will, no question, are we going to be um, much larger celebrations. If we've done the small intimates, you know, celebrations for two to 10. Um, so now they really want to, so whatever the limits are in terms of every state, that is what most of our clients are adhering to. So what's your advice for people who are planning a wedding, maybe for the second or third time now after having to cancel previously, and want to make sure that this time it's a go no matter or what? Well, listen, the one thing that's certain in life is there is no certainty. So I think we need to sort of, you know, take that in. But we can be thoughtful and strategic and smart about it. So, I mean, the people who are very, very cautious, instead of, you know, doing it at the end of this year, which is that they were planning, many of them have moved to 2022, where they feel a lot more certain. Um, so I think, you know, we have to be vigilant. I think all of the vendors that we're bringing on, there's, there's COVID language to protect our clients, but it goes both ways. And really quickly, you say that bridal registries are more important than ever. Why is that? Well, certainly we've all been, you know, home sweet home. We've been at home more than ever before. And so now I mean, we've done so many video calls and, you know, um, appointments with people in terms of what they want. So I think fashion, unfortunately, has taken a hit, but we now covet what we're using on a daily basis. Um, our drinking glasses, our where we're having our, you know, morning oatmeal. So in, before, you know, in terms of registry, I see two things. One is there's a group of people who are nomads, so they don't, they've been displaced. So they've moved around because of work and their family situations, and now they're working remotely. So that's one. So we're doing a lot of holds. Two is they want whatever people purchase them, we ship to them immediately because they can really use it. And then they send us pictures, like amazing, like dinner for twos that are romantic. So that's been very rewarding and gratifying. All right, Zheng Li, we appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.